Port Colborne is a small city located in the Niagara Peninsula in the most southern point of the peninsula, smack dab between Fort Erie and Wayne Fleet and right on Lake Erie. With 20,000 residents, Port Colborne is known for its small town charm, the beaches, the Welland Canal, and of course, everybody knows this, Canal Days, which is hosted every single year in the summertime. Are you thinking about moving to Port Colborne? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the top five pros and cons of living in Port Colborne. Let's get into it. What's up guys, I'm Andrew Kulikowski. Only days away from summertime. I remember riding my bike up and down this path. There's a reason why homes in this neighborhood sell so fast. Going to Tim Hortons, our local high school. If you're serious about location and you love to entertain, are you ready? Let me show you why. If this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything about what it's like living in Niagara from work, play, eating, buying and selling real estate and literally everything else in between, then make sure you do one thing and hit like, subscribe and tap that notification button so you'll be notified every time I post up videos just like this one. What's up guys, I'm Andrew Kulikowski. I'm a local real estate agent with eXp Realty and born and raised, you guessed it, right here in beautiful Niagara region. Now I help hundreds of people year over year buy and sell real estate here and I absolutely love it. So if that person's you and you're thinking about relocating here or maybe you're a local resident and you're thinking about buying or selling, whether it be tomorrow or in two years, make sure you reach out. You're always welcome to call, text, email, DM, schedule a Zoom call, but I'd love to hear from you and I've got your back when you're making that move to Niagara. So as previously mentioned guys, in today's video, we're talking about the top five pros and cons of living in Port Colborne. It's really hard to find anything negative or any cons about living in Port Colborne if you're going online. So to begin, we're gonna talk about the top five cons first, and then we're gonna get into top pros. And the number one con is that there is limited job opportunity. Naturally, Port Colborne, it's a small city. Jobs are not as robust as they are in bigger urban centers. Now, Port Colborne's economy is based primarily on industrial manufacturing, steel and chemical manufacturing, transportation, logistics, and a heavy presence in the marine industry. Now, the employment rate as of December 2021 was hovering around 50%. Now, participation rate, which basically means people who are currently employed, unemployed, or employable looking for jobs in Port Colborne is also unfortunately trending downwards and has been since the early 2000s. That currently sits at 54%. And furthermore, the unemployment rate currently sits at 12.9%. And unfortunately, that has been trending upwards since the early 2000s, leaving a lot of employers desperately looking for help in the Port Colborne area. And the number two con is cold winters. Yes, Port Colborne is known for having cold winters. Being so close to Lake Erie, as well as being on top of the escarpment and being right next door to Wayne Fleet and Fort Erie, it's inevitable that you're gonna get some cold weather in Port Colborne. Now let's put some perspective to this. Now comparing Port Colborne to other provinces within Canada, Port Colborne is actually relatively mild compared to areas like Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta. But when you do compare Port Colborne to other areas within the Niagara region, like St. Catharines or Niagara the Lake, typically Port Colborne does get a little bit more of harsh winters and warm summers. So if you're thinking of moving to Port Colborne, you definitely gotta make sure you've got all your winter gear, be prepared that you are gonna be shoveling and that you are gonna get a ton of lake effect snow and wind come off of Lake Erie. And the number three con now, this one could be a complete hybrid. You may like this or you may not like this. Now this is pretty obvious, Port Colborne's a small city. Now being a small city, there's a lot less things to do in Port Colborne. You've got less amenities, you don't have a shopping mall, you have fewer restaurants, Overall, there's just less to do. So people who live in Port Colborne, obviously, if they live there, they probably really love the fact that it kind of has that small town charm. So if you are thinking of moving to Port Colborne, just keep in mind, you probably better have a car because a lot of people who live in Port Colborne 
are doing a lot of traveling, either driving into Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, or Welland, to kind of hit those stores, restaurants, or any places that they do shopping that they might not be able to get living in the Port Colborne area. And the number four con is that there is limited public transportation. Now, Port Colborne does not have its own public transportation system. They, like Niagara on the Lake, have an, what they call an NRT on demand public transit system. So basically, if you wanna go anywhere, you have to either go into your app or dial a 1-800 number to call the NRT on demand. And very simple, it's like a ride sharing or an Uber type service. That's the service that they provide. So again, if you're used to the old school way of public transportation, unfortunately, Port Colborne doesn't have that. Now, on a positive note, this will probably be changing in the next two to three years with Greater Niagara growing at such a scale, you're probably going to see an amalgamation between all the municipalities having a general transportation system for all the Niagara region. And the number five con is the lack of condo living. Now, Port Colborne has a newer side and Port Colborne has an older side, but they're not really known for having a lot of townhomes or mid-rise condo developments. Now, the good news is, is that is slowly changing. There is a brand new condo development that is being built as we speak in the downtown core, built by a reputable local builder, Rankin Construction. Now, that building is a seven-story building with 72 units. It's gonna be really awesome. You've got views of Welland Canal, as well as Lake Erie. Now, in my opinion, there's just not a lot of that. With the median age of 50 plus, in my opinion, I feel that there's a there should be a really good appetite for that type of lifestyle or condo living. Now, if I had to guess, there are probably going to be more condos being built in Port Colborne because the last thing that I heard is that building's already sold out. So it's only a matter of time that other builders or developers are gonna come into the area and most likely build something very similar. And here we are, we're gonna talk about the five pros of living in Port Colborne. Now I can tell you that this list was way easier to come up with and really hard to choose the top five. But the first one in no particular order that I wanna talk about is Port Colborne has a very strong sense of community. This is blatantly obvious when you go into Port Colborne or if you are visiting there, the first thing you are guaranteed to notice is that everybody's super friendly, everybody waves at you. People let you go when you're at a stop sign, they open the door for you at restaurants and stores. It is just a really, really nice place with a lot of friendly people. So, so many residents have taken so much pride in being from Port Colborne. And the number two pro is your proximity to water. Port Colborne doesn't get any better. You are literally right on the shores of Lake Erie. So obviously if you are a boater or you're interested in getting a cottage or you like to camp, uh, you like to water ski or any type of water sports, if you're a fisherman, it doesn't get any better than living at Port Colborne. The access to the water is so great. Port Colborne has one of the largest marinas, also known as Sugarloaf Marina, that houses close to 700 boat slips. And as for beaches, if you're a sun lover, there are two really popular beaches in Port Colborne, one known as Nickel Beach and the other one known as Cedar Bay. Now, one really cool, interesting fact is Nickel Beach is one of the last beaches, I think, in Canada maybe not Canada, but maybe Ontario, that you're still allowed to drive your car onto the beach, set up shop, enjoy your picnic, enjoy your barbecue, and soak up the sun in our beautiful summers that we have here in the Niagara region. There are also some amazing cycle as well as hiking trails and canal paths. So if you like to rollerblade, if you like to ride your bike, you're a runner, or if you prefer to walk, You've got kilometer after kilometer of some fantastic trails. You'll also be able to take in a lot of the beautiful and natural environment that Port Colborne has to offer. And the number three pro is the amount of recreation and leisure that Port Colborne has to offer. Now, for such a small city, there really is a lot of rec and leisure things to do. And to kick that off, the first one is, and this was built in 2013, is the Vail Center. Now the Vail Center is located right at the end of Highway 140 as you enter 
for Colburn. Now the Vail Center has two NHL size hockey rinks. It has a running slash walking track. It's bocce courts. It's partnered with the YMCA of Niagara. So there's a lot of other extracurricular events that take place there as well. There's also soccer fields located on site as well. Port Colbert also has a ton of great parks. If you're a golfer, you're in luck because Port Colbert has two golf courses located within the city limits. One being Port Colbert Golf and Country Club as well as Whiskey Run. Both amazing courses and not far from other courses just outside of the city. And the most popular event that literally everybody knows about is Canal Days. That is hosted by Port Colburn. That is their most popular event that they host for four days over the weekend. Every summer, Canal Days has a ton of various things that happen throughout the city, from concerts to art events. Uh, there's a different food vendors. There's a bunch of different things. And people absolutely love Canal Days. I highly Highly recommend if you live there or not, you definitely got to come visit Port Colburn during Canal Days. And lastly, if you're a race fan, you're in luck because Port Colburn also has a racetrack known as the Humberstone Speedway. And the, the number four pro of living in Port Colburn is affordable real estate. The cost of living in Port Colburn is generally lower than other provinces within Canada. And as per AreaVibes.com, they rate it 20% lower than any other province and 11% lower than the national average. Now, the average house price in Port Colborne currently sits at $513,000. And its neighboring city, Fort Erie, is currently sitting at $523,000 and well in at $510,000. And the number five pro is Port Colborne has a high quality of life, a low crime rate, a lot of great schools, tons of amenities, rec and leisure. And overall, it really is just a fantastic sense of community. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are your top five pros and cons of living in Port Colburn. So if you are thinking of making your move to Port Colburn or you want to know more information about Port Colburn, then I highly encourage you to reach out. As you know, you're welcome to call, text, email, DM or schedule a Zoom call. Like I said, I've got your back when making your move to Port Colborne or the greater Niagara area. But that's all for now, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.